Welcome to another part of EasyFM tutorial. Um, this time we're going to see how we can use uh, Get Data Node to create a heads up display. Okay, I haven't prepared anything yet, so we're going to have to do everything step by step. So uh, let's create a new game mode. Let's just call it new game mode. And we're going to create a new hat class like this. And we're going to create a widget blueprint. And let's create our first heads up display element. Let's just use text. It's going to be, let's say, here. And now we need to link uh, the uh, text in this block to an to a function. Okay, uh, this of course needs to return text. So let's get our current player and get mm, our pawn. Okay, and we are going to cast it to our jet and that is new blueprint and since we don't have any other types of playable vehicle in here or playable playable pawn uh, we're just going to use a pure cast because it cannot fail and we're going to get an ZFM component. We're going to get its data like this. And now, as you can see, we have all the possible outputs of this node as well as a selector which units we're going to use. Let's use Nautico and we're going to create, let's say, our airspeed meter. Like this, it's going to automatically insert a node that converts it to text. Let's compile the whole thing, and it's not going to show just yet, because we need to do one more thing, and that is go to our hat class, go to event graph, and when the game starts, we're going to need to create our new widget. Like this. And add it to player screen. Uh, I think it's going to work now. Yeah. And as you can see, it shows our airspeed. Of course, uh, same can be done with any <coughs> any other outputs of get data. Uh, it's also uh, possible to uh, get all the other parameters of EasyFM. For instance, if we wanted this hot element to show us, let's say, elevator position. We're going to just get pitch plus and use that. And when we manipulate the stick, as you can see, it moves between minus one and plus one. Also, one EZFM user asked me to show him how to create a slider that's going to show current position of throttle. So this is done by progress bar. Okay, let's put it, say, here. 
and we're going to create a binding for percent and we're basically going to do let's just copy those two get on cut to our cast to our player and get easy FM and get roll position okay like this and move it in here and as you can see as I increase throttle slider fills up pretty simple and finally I can show you how to display elements from 3D space into HUD in uh, this case we're going to draw a flight path vector okay this is uh, done directly in uh, the heads up display blueprint in our event graph we have event called receive draw hat and uh, from this we can draw directly so we're going to do the same thing get get player pawn cast to a new blueprint uh, this is name of uh, our mm, player character Okay, we're going to make it a pure cast again and get easy FM and again get data and uh, our uh, flight path vector will be the true velocity however we need uh, to convert this uh, into 2D space so we can put it on screen and this is done by project world to screen however since this is this isn't a world location but a velocity vector we need to add camera location so we get it in front of our camera so let's just get camera Got its location and add those two vectors up like this, and we can now create our draw texture simple, select our asset and every time we get this event we're going to draw this texture and the position will be this one split this pin and you get x and y position where on the screen should this icon be located okay let's compile it and I predict there's going to be a little problem and yes there is a problem and the problem is that we need to specify which player's screen we have to draw to so just get get our player controller link it in here and now it should show up yeah and final small problem is that if we just try to fly level as you can see the indicator is offset to the right and the reason for this is that uh, this uh, draw texture simple uh, starts drawing the, uh, the texture from uh, top left corner rather than from center so we're going to need to subtract a half of sprite size from our x and y location 
In other words, this is uh, 64 by 64 icon, so we're going to subtract 32 and do the same for Y coordinate. And now it lines up properly like this. And that's basically it. You can uh, use this to draw other elements such as uh, gun crosshair, for example, can be done by just getting our player's forward vector. Okay, we don't even need EZFM for this. This can be done straight from the static mesh. And now it's always pointing towards our mesh's forward direction. It's slightly glitchy, now where this, when this happens, uh, I found out that that you can uh, just uh, multiply this vector by some, some large number to move it further away from the screen and this is going to use the glitching and that's basically it.